We have some long only strategies that did well last night in the market, but as the market moves higher, we like to look at strategies that can also short this market. We're talking about the futures, e mini S&P futures. This is a 60 minute breakout short strategy. You see some of the latest trades. That's a very tight stop loss. It's only 12 points in the S&P. In this kind of volatility, you see uh, there are lots of stopped out trades. And we have a short cover to reverse input that can go long on once it reverses. But if you turn that to false, which it is right now, it's only a short selling strategy. Today we caught this short 60 minute breakout after the previous three trades were losers. And you see the performance summary for this going back to mid 2015. So in the fall of 2015, the Fed started to raise interest rates off of the zero to 0.25% mark. And then we've had the pandemic Actually, we had the pandemic um, right in here. So right here is where the pandemic started and the market moved moved down. And there's some great short selling opportunities in this trend line. The trend line for this strategy equity curve continues to move higher. So even though we've had the Fed stimulus, um, this market moves higher. And what happened in this time frame? This was August through the pandemic. The market was very strong. One of its strongest bull, bull runs, making equity peaks, uh, market making equity peaks in here. And so what happened after that? The pandemic occurred, and this strategy has done well since. Even though we've moved higher, there are good short selling opportunities in this market. And I think there will continue to be short se good short selling opportunities in this market. Now, one of the times that, uh, with the time period that did this not work, it does not work before 2015 very well for for many years where the Fed the funds rates were at 0 to 0.25 percent and this is where the Fed funds rates currently are but the volatility is so high and the uncertainty is still high and so we still have this opportunity to short the market and you have to wonder um, if this entire rally is a counter trend rally in a bear market uh, we, we look for we look for these opportunities because we have long only strategies and we don't want to be long only we're short term traders and you can trade the futures, you can trade the short side of the futures to hedge your long-term investments and to work to make profits in short-term trading when your long-term assets uh, are declining. And so this is, this is the opportunity that you have when you trade a portfolio of strategies like this. This is 60-minute breakout short, and this includes $25 round turn slippage and commission. Average trade profit is $113.35. Max drawdown is $72.75. And it doesn't take long trades with the current settings. Um, it's only a short selling strategy. And this kind of counterbalances our long strategies. I want to show you the long strategies as well. So last night, Asia 4 long, two nights in a row, has captured this move higher. You see, uh, you see markets gap up. And so you want a strategy to take advantage of the gap up. And you have to get a strategy that trades futures at night to do that. Uh, night trader. We'll also do that as well. It did that last night, plus 675 on Night Trader, a 60 minute breakout. Uh, NQ has been has been on, a bit on the roll. You see, uh, it, it actually lost today. It, it uh, took an exit signal with only a $75 loss. The last three trades are winners, so you want to be able to catch these bullish runs. Uh, ES After Hours got in last night. I want to show you that setup. So it got in during the Asia session, bought this dip and exited as, as we went into the European session. And so we have good long only strategies and we want to make sure we have a balance of strategies. And this is the 60 minute breakout short that I am sharing with you today. And it's part of our all strategy access. So if you get the all strategy access set up, this is one of the many 77 strategies included in that.